All right, we're here in Barstow. Uh, this is gonna be a race, like, uh, like crazy fatigue, uh, rocks, not getting flats, technical as, as shit, so technical. Uh, there is some fast section in the back, but I think it's just be clean, don't break, um, push the truck to the point where it's safe and get a good pace and get out there and do what we can do. Um, it's gonna be fun, enjoy yourself, and have a good time. Okay. First day, gonna go fast, <laughs> not crash. We're at staging right now, 7.30, leaving at eight. It's gonna be a good race. I'm just doing the first lap, and then my dad's gonna do the second two. What's up, guys? So we are in Barstow, California for the California 300. Um, we are starting 39th. Uh, for this race, I think there's over 80 cars that are going to be running today. Uh, we're starting second in class. We're five points behind the leader right now, chasing them down. Um, we had a really good solid pre-run, did a lot of notes, made a lot of adjustments into the truck. Uh, running some new tires, uh, really happy with them. Barso is a very rocky and technical course and it can jump out and bite you. And so far the tires are doing great, holding up. Um, we're sitting five points out of first right now. The uh, competition just got here yesterday. Don't really know if they have that much pre-run time or if they're doing live imaging mapping. Um, it's a really fast, well-built truck. Um, it's gonna be a little bit bigger and a little bit wider for them to get through some of the more tight technical stuff where we have you know, a really short wheelbase. It's a really narrow truck. Um, it's a really fast truck, so a little, lot more agile through the tight technical stuff. Um, we'll hold it together. I'm gonna do all 300 uh, miles. Uh, Zach's gonna jump out after the first race, and then Eric's gonna jump in with me, and uh, we're gonna bring her home, hopefully, with a, with a win and a championship win. Good luck. Have fun. Be safe out there. Hey, bro. See you guys at the end. It's time. Time, baby.
maybe two hours. I believe two hours per lap. All right, so update. Uh, they have made it to about mile marker 30. They're both moving. I mean, both the black truck and our truck is moving. Uh, the other truck broke down, split his steering box in half. So it's, we went from three to two. So that's where we're at. Dude, the hood pin broke right out the middle on the right side, so it's flopping. They can't see. So I have to pull the hood. All right, guys, this is Eric. Just checking in, see if you need anything. I'm all suited and booted. They're on 1450s ass. All right, crew chief, what's the game plan here? Now, we're gonna bring him in. They're gonna dump fuel, double check the tires in the back. Hopefully we don't have to change anything. Doesn't sound like we're gonna. And then I'm gonna go over the front end. As soon as everybody's done, hands up, away. I'll release them. We're gonna take off right out that way and get back to it. Nice. Rumor has it, we're right on the tail of the guys we're battling. Yeah, we're roughly 30 seconds behind. And we're assuming that they're stopping for fuel right up there at that. That is what it seems to be. So, so it's, it's gonna be one here. It's gonna be a battle right in the pit. Absolutely. You want like a hype up song? Hey, let, let, him, let, him, let him lock in, hold on. <laughs> Get up and start shadow boxing. Race mile 66 and you have a flat. We will be re racking a brand new tire come main pit. Take longer. No clue where I got that flat. It was I was behind the 1450 truck, and I was in his dust, and just it, it felt like completely fine. Like it was completely like it didn't blow. No, it was, you don't usually when you blow it, you could hear a pop, but there's nothing. It was just just shank the sidewall or something. Do you have the tire here? Did they take it off? Uh, no, the like the actual people on the course. Oh, they they they'll take it back. It's it, <laughs> when I saw it looks bad. Yeah. I had no clue. There was no noise. It just, I'm in third, heading 59, which usually I'm in like 70 in, in third, so. <laughs> Went pretty smooth. Didn't have any really issues with the truck. Didn't find any problems up front. The guys didn't find anything wrong in the back. Got all the fuel in it. Got the tire swapped out. Driver changed. Everything seems to be good. Truck looks good. Uh, we're roughly nine minutes behind from out of pit for them to out of pit for us. Their pits are taking longer though. Yes, they, they took probably four more minutes in the pit than we did. So we probably made up the time that we lost when they changed the tire in the field. So they passed it. Nice. But Don just updated at race mile 26 and a half and they just, Eric just touched race mile 28. Nice. We'll get a split time and in the pits right now. So they just passed us and 1450 just pulled into pit. They're getting tires. So they're gonna put a little time on them. Yeah, they just passed about a minute and a half ago. All right. Yeah, they're, they're just taking off now. So we probably got a good, uh, I'd say almost three minute lead on them. We got that. What's wrong with the truck? Uh, something with the power steering. Power okay. steering. Not, we're losing it. Right now. We're not good. Non-existent. Non-existent. 
Yeah. We are in the lead. Uh, while we haven't heard the important ever made it through the line, we haven't been able to tell. Main to 1444, you have a 12 minute gap on second. 12 minutes. Copy. That fire starts down there. I got a bunch of food in that zipper. Yeah, the stuff they're pouring in is already coming out of the line on the bottom. I drove, I don't know how many miles with no power steering. It was like 20 miles, but it, you can use throttle yeah. and get out throttle. of it. We could throttle drive this truck, which is good. What happened, did it blow out the seal? Yeah, it kicked yeah. the snapper ring out and pushed the seal. I got the seal back up. So it just hit a hard hit that made it blow out? I think so, either that or the snap ring wasn't all the way seated and it caught it just right. I immediately smelled fluid and then boom, it just got. Yeah, it's gonna come out real quick from here. Yeah. Silver washer up. So we gotta cycle the steering, get an air bubble yeah, out. Yeah, silver washer's up. Eric, you did good on, on time. You just gotta make it to the finish. I got it. I like that. Yeah. Alright, let's go. There's one right here. Here you go. Yeah, look at that side. This is right. Okay. 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 Came in, it let's hit a bump, knock the snap ring off hey. the sector shaft from the steering box, push the cereal out, put the, the seal out, lost all the fluid, and we got it in. We were able to seal wasn't damaged, at least from what it appeared. Slid it back up, got the snap ring seated back in, filled back with fluid. Most of the air worked out, they'll get a little bit of it as it goes through, but it'll work itself through the system. Everything goes well, we should be good to go. How long do you think after 1450 left did we leave behind? Like five to ten minutes. Uh, it's very much catchable. It's still, we have an entire 100 miles left. Our truck's faster than theirs in this, on this train, so it is very much winnable if we, it's gonna be close.
Oh, that, that's the energy turned off. to about mile marker five. I lost power steering at three a second time, and after we fixed it, uh, we we're chasing down the guy in the black truck, 1450, and um, that was it. We kept going for about another three or four miles with no power steering, it just got technical and tight, so I just said called it. So now we're on course, way out there. Bushwhack it all the way back to camp. I don't know how we made it. I, I think I ran over 150 bushes. That's what happened, and we made it, and. Um, I think we at least got to the third lap, um, battled all day, and it was fun until it wasn't. So that's a wrap for the California 300. We are done. We made second place. Second place overall. Like, second like place I said, um, but we got second place, which is whatever. We wanted to win this race. It didn't matter. It's uh, up to the next one. We're going to get this thing back going, and we'll be at Rage of the River right in December, and uh, maybe some other events in between.